Hi, I'd like to talk about the dichotomy between uh, hand tool woodworking and, uh, and machines, formerly machines, but you know we're in an environment today where uh, there's a, quite a large proliferation of uh, CNC type machines and uh, how it's filtered down from uh, large production type environments down to the, uh, the home woodworker. The whole uh, industry, the CNC industry, is uh, targeted home woodworkers, uh, the, the, the cost, the uh, affordability of CNC has dropped considerably, marketing has increased, the feeling is that people should, should embrace CNC and, and CNC related type woodworking as opposed to uh, conventional traditional woodworking. So this, uh, this marketing emphasis is, uh, has increased in, uh, in recent years because the affordability again is has dropped considerably of uh, CNC type machines and the marketing claims to a uh, typical woodworker, home woodworker, a non-production environment, not, not a commercial woodworker, feel that they need to um, embrace uh, CNC and have it in their own, uh, their own woodworking uh, shop or environment. I've been at uh, woodworking for uh, a few decades now, I'd say 30 years, and I've seen uh, Conventional woodworking or traditional woodworking in the past was uh, hand tool oriented uh, decades ago, several decades ago, uh, century, century, two centuries ago, and then all of a sudden the uh, the advent of machines in the early 1900s changed that considerably. All of a sudden, the machines machines became affordable. The, the home woodworker uh, was uh, made available to the home woodworker at a very good, a very good uh, low cost. So they uh, they sort of embraced this, and uh, and eventually the, uh, the the traditional skills of hand tool woodworking disappeared in the mid 1900s to the 1990s, for example. In the 1990s, again, a resurgence or a revival of hand tool woodworking occurred. There was uh, several uh, hand tool woodworking near schools, uh, furniture making schools that that uh, were created in, in that period to teach the traditional skills. So people, as in most styles, people uh, uh, migrated to hand tool woodworking to, to uh, move away from machines in that type of production environment or uh, fast-paced woodworking where uh, you are very disassociated from, uh, from, from the actual wood itself. Your, uh, your wood just simply becomes a medium like a piece of plastic. You're just feeding it through a machine. And this this uh, this was with, with traditional machines, like what I'm referring to is our uh, jointers, planers, and and uh, non CNC, non computerized machines at the time in the 1990s, early 2000s, and there was a uh, mass uh, movement towards uh, hand tools. Traditional when I when I label traditional woodworking to me is hand tool oriented. So this this occurred, and then um, of course. Uh, Computer technology has been evolving over the years. I have a 30-year background in uh, NIT and computers, and I've seen all sorts of uh, all sorts of advancements in the computer world. And uh, even I, in the early 2000s, before embracing hand tool work, was fascinated with CNC, and I even I even bought components to create my own before before they were uh, uh, affordable and available to. Uh, to small woodworkers. I moved to uh, hand tool woodworking at the time in the early 2000s. I studied at a small furniture making school and uh, and I've since, since embraced hand tools in my work. You can see the hand tools behind me and this is just a small part of what I, in my workshop. In my workshop it's uh, two levels and this is probably one fifth of my workshop you're, you're actually staring at now. And so I have other, other tools and I found that using hand tools is uh, what's critical with using hand tools is uh, is you need to use them very often to become comfortable and and eventually the uh, the productivity your productivity increases with hand tools you're more likely to pick up a hand tool uh, over over using a machine I'm talking about traditional machines now with the advent of, of CNC and I've seen this more and more in magazines and, and uh, marketing campaigns the, the people or woodworkers seem to think that they need to uh, they need to own a CNC machine in their small workshop or anything CNC related computerized. So we're back to uh, we've gone we've gone from uh, from machines traditional machines from hand tool woodworking to, to traditional machines back to hand tool woodworking.
for a large part, unless they're a commercial or production-oriented environment. And now we're, we're once again embracing machines, but in a, in a, in a computerized sense. The advancements are, um, are, are, uh, are, are coming, in, coming fast, and uh, it's quite fascinating. I have the computer background, so I'm fascinated with, uh, with the advancements, but I'm also realizing that we're losing our traditional, the traditional skills at a, just as fast a pace as we were losing them with the, uh, with the introduction of, of conventional machines, jointer, planer, table saw, band saw, in the mid-1900s. So we're, we're gone, we've got full cycle now. And I, I have a fear that along with uh, conventional machines and, this, and, and CNC related machines, we're going to quickly lose traditional skills. And because of all this marketing revolving around CNC, there are several advantages to hand tools in noise reduction, massive reduction in noise over uh, even uh, traditional or conventional machines, and especially CNC machines. Don't forget, the CNC machine needs a very uh, efficient dust collection, and the CNC machine itself is, is very noisy. And it's all mostly router based. Along with that, the dust collection that goes with it, and the maintenance, and you know, learning uh, how to code. Although they 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 sort of simplified the whole process of designing and transferring that to computer code for the machine to understand. We're on the road to disassociating ourselves from, from woodworking and, uh, and in, a, in a traditional sense. We're, we're uh, moving to computerized woodworking. We're moving ourselves from, the, uh, from, the, from, from wood. So computerized woodworking is, uh, is, is uh, in my opinion, the, uh, the efficient processing of, uh, of a medium through a computerized production system. It, it could be wood, it could be any medium for that matter. So, uh, so I thought I'd create this video and, uh, and uh, explain that uh, the, uh, my, 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 I wouldn't say fear, but uh, my, my concern about where we're headed with, uh, with woodworking. And I see, although there's still a large movement towards hand tools, it's, uh, it's being, uh, usurped by the, the CNC marketers and, and uh, people are uh, talking about CNC much more so than they were even three or four years ago because it's all of a sudden become very affordable and it's a cool thing to have in the workshop and everything so it takes away from from all the traditional woodworking. Now I understand CNC is, uh, is a positive uh, development for, uh, for production environments and CNC itself has been around for decades and that in commercial environments, uh, woodworking environments where uh, production is key as opposed to making one-offs or small small batches of furniture or uh, wood uh, objects. But in a, in, a, in a small shop environment, I, I don't really understand why somebody would want that aside from the cool factor of having a CNC or anything revolving around CNC. When all these uh, tool, tools behind me are available, and it's just a matter of understanding what the tool does and how to use it, how to successfully use the tool, and uh, developing your uh, your hand tool skills over time. There's so many advantages to hand tools: less maintenance, not completely removing ourselves from from any computer, from anything computer related, because computers have infiltrated our lives so much that we really need to to uh, mix computers with woodworking now. See, uh, this is my my fear. So we're losing, uh, using uh, the focusing on CNC, we're losing our hand-eye coordination. We're once again losing the traditional skills of working with, uh, with hand tools, developing the skills. This is my concern. I've written several books and uh, this is my more recent book and it's called Quiet Woodworking in an Unquiet World. And this is uh, all about my emphasis to, uh, is to convert to hand tool woodworking and all the benefits of uh, and to work woodworking in today's environment, computerized environment. And what I, what, I mean, again, once again, I've, I've had a 30 year background in computers and one of the reasons I've embraced uh, woodworking is because it was uh, so unrelated to computers. And, and computers at the time when I began had not infiltrated and not, been, not part of uh, woodworking. So I, I loved woodworking for the, uh, for the fact that it hasn't really evolved in, in several decades and, uh, and maybe a century and you're able to use a hand tool today that 
So we're able to use tools that were developed uh, over a century, a century and a half ago today. And so there's no need to understand uh, anything computer related, any, any software, any apps or anything when, when you're doing woodworking in a, in a traditional sense. Now if we, if we uh, bring computer technology into woodworking, what are we doing? We're, we're so modernizing woodworking in the sense that there is no, we're moved away from the traditional sense so much that uh, we're at the mercy of, uh, of all the developments in software the, uh, for all these CNC machines that uh, they're proliferating today. And so we're actually, we're not moving away from computers in a, uh, by doing woodworking anymore. We're actually bringing computers into woodworking it's a slippery slope towards uh, towards advancements in computers, and eventually, it's just you know that CNC technology will 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 develop further, of course, with the introduction of AI. The, the marketers for CNC love this because of planned obsolescence with uh, with computer technology. It works really it works very well for their marketing. That you know you have to replace whatever you've purchased today, maybe in five years, when you're all you've gone through all the upgrades and there's nothing more to upgrade, so you need to replace replace the CNC, uh, your setup, with something more modern, faster, more reliable possibly. Why would we want to uh, invest in something like that? Well, we, computer, computers are become so, such a large part of our lives. Why would we want to have computers as part of woodworking also? I, one of the, like I was saying earlier, one of the reasons I, I embraced woodworking was to move away from computers in my 30 year computer career. During my 30 year computer career, and uh, I loved it for that reason because it was just being able to do th create th objects by hand with hand tools was was so different from uh, from writing code or developing code or working with anything computers or using computers. And we're back to to an environment where computers are going to be such a large part of woodworking that uh, it's uh, it should be of concern to everybody. So I'm not knocking CNC or anything because I understand that the benefits of CNC in production environments and I mean if you're, uh, if you're creating uh, multiples, uh, hundreds of multiples of something, of course you need something more automated than doing it by hand. That makes sense, but for a small woodworker, I don't know if it is we're removing all the, uh, the, uh, the advantages that we, uh, we understood to work with hand tools. Uh, less noise, much less noise, no dust, less maintenance. Uh, the development of hand-eye coordination, maintaining the woodworking tradition, which is I find very important, and I've oriented all my teachings and all my books towards hand tools because I understand the value of uh, maintaining that tradition. Now, some people might, uh, you know, modern-day younger woodworkers might scoff at that because they say, "Well, you know, we need to move away from that. Why do things by hand? Why make things by hand when you can do it through a machine?" It's a slippery slope, you know, where, where does it end? AI, machines, we've, we'll quickly, rapidly lose our uh, traditional skills once again that we began to lose in the mid-1900s. So this is why I'm, I've created this uh, short video today to uh, enlighten people to the, uh, the perils of, uh, of uh, CNC, although I guess I'm not against CNC and I love technology and I love to see advancements in technology, but I, I feel like CNC is not, uh, does not, should not occupy a small woodworking shop is what I'm, uh, unless you're doing production work. So that's all I have to say for today. And I'll probably continue on this topic in, uh, in the next, uh, the next weeks or so once I, uh, I can talk more about it, once I've, once I've, uh, I've got more arguments for and against CNC.